I lucked out actually. The email came in around three o'clock and said you can donate to have a beer with them. I happen to work downtown and uh, thought, why not? Let's have a chance at it. I just bought one of the new collab beers this morning. Thought this would be a fun thing to see if I could get in on, and uh, I lucked out. I got it. So I had a beer with both of them, had a great time, and tried Stone 18, which still isn't even out yet, so that was definitely the highlight. And good conversation. It was a good time. This is at the end of our conversation we had here this afternoon. Uh, Carrie arrived late, but we started earlier. We had some uh, food, yep. and we ended up having a talk very random about things that people talk about when you're having beer. But I welcome you, and maybe we'll get to share a beer with you in person Cheers. at some point. Oh, and we raise money for charity. Thank you again for the, that. Kawasaki. Thank you. Yes. Kawasaki, what was it again? Disease Foundation. Okay, Kawasaki Disease Foundation. So I brought that bottle of the not yet released, the soon to be released uh, 18th anniversary. What do you think? Should we crack it open? Hey, hey. how are you? I'm Eric. Good, good. good to meet you. Hey, how are you? Yeah. I don't even, that's not out yet, right? No. No. So I, I've, I've not had this yet. Oh, wow. You know, well, this is this is cool because when we went up to Lost Abbey one time and Tommy was there and was with some friends and we started a very approachable start talking with us. Yeah, brought out Tommy a thing of track eight like, before yeah. it was re-released. He goes, "I'm going to bring you guys something that you never had." So that was like my highlight story. Oh, you're like an, an insider. Oh, I was in this. Oh, so yeah. Good. So I had a track eight about a year ago with Tommy. Oh, and I can now smell that. Ooh, having this nice. with you. This is great. Oh, this is great. Yeah, it's because the beer's here. That's I understand. Now I think a younger with Vinny, and that's the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sweet. All right. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. Welcome cheers. Here. cheers. Thank hey, you very much. Right cheers. Nice to, you. Nice to, to meet you. you. Good to meet you. I, I give it a, a hell yeah. Let me try it again. A hell yeah, especially after two and a half hours in traffic. Well, yeah, that's an extra hell yeah. <laughs> Don't you nice. find the memorable beers you remember where you were and when? That's what's so scary or weird with me, maybe. Yeah. It was like the first time I went someplace and he goes, we have something called Pliny the Elder. And it's like, what the hell is that? And then we had it. And it's like, geez, and I'll never forget that day. Right. You know, right. it's weird. Nothing like, or <laughs> maybe I'm just odd that way. First time I had Racer 5, and that was like the IPA I cut my teeth on. And it was like, yeah. Yeah. damn. Oh, I get a lot of, I, I mean, I can remember the time that I went through every known goose with a buddy of mine in 2000 in, uh, in, in Brussels. Okay. You know, and we were sitting out in a cafe, and we were watching these guys rebuild a cobble part of the sidewalk, right? So they're, they, were, they had a little, you know, like a little bobcat thing, and they were dumping the cobble piles and then they were hand setting it all in the sand and they were, wow. kept on coming back to the pub where we were sitting and drinking beers. <laughs> they were drinking they, they needed pills. a little time off. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the pub owner just kept pouring them beers. I'm like, this is one hell of a way to work. Right. I was never big on the first Crew album, but when, when the Bob Rock uh, one came out, oh, yeah. And in the Dr. Field Theater of Pain, in, Theater and of Pain, and right? Dun 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 Okay, From yeah. Free, it was free. like, how many years earlier than that was DDD? I remember oh, noticing DDD, it as a okay. kid, it was DDD. Right. Sorry, Vegas, I derailed so. off of uh, the whole concert and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. called, uh, you know, conversations over beer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sidetracked there. Yeah, oh, this conversation has gone before you got there. The conversation had already been kind of going like this and out and there and the other thing. No, so, I just got back from Nevada, actually. Okay. But I was in Reno for oh, softball. Okay, My gotcha. daughter was up there playing in a softball tournament all week. Okay. So, yeah, we just came back. Yeah. Had Did a major. Any spots up there? We just a couple beer spots, yeah, definitely. Yeah, beer spots. Oh yeah, a uh, place called the Brewers Cabinet. Uh, another place oh, called yeah. I haven't been there yet. Brasserie yeah, St. James, I believe. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, well, yeah no, the St. Well. James Infirmary. 
know. It had a weird name, Brasserie. Yeah, yeah. I remember I think thinking like sister, sister, two separate, sister place. Yeah, exactly. Because okay. I know St. James oh, Infirmary. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. It is. A, yeah, they do have another okay. location. So yes. Brasserie St. James must yep. be their new sort of more yep. food focus. They I'm do guessing. exactly. Okay. Yeah, food. I like those guys. They're yeah, good. I actually. Um, did some barrel tasting, pull out the nail with uh, Jean Van Roy at Cantillon in Belgium, in Brussels, with the guys uh, you know, uh, from St. James Infirmary. And so I first met them, okay. and we were there together. It was, it was the, the four of us, me and Sarah, and the two of them. Wow. And and Jean Van Roy was you know pouring his sour, like pull out the thing, yeah. and you know nice. some spills on the floor, and you're like ah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and the glass. The nectar. There, like, yeah. Three dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, don't yeah. Spill it. yeah. No, you can't even put a price tag. On. Yeah. Yeah, the nectar. And hit Mammoth on the way up. Mammoth Brewing on the way up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had their 395. 395 IPA, yeah. which yeah. is really cool because yep. they use some localized ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Tasted to me kind of like a Yule Smith winner, I think. I think that's what I thought okay. it tasted like. But it had a very familiar taste. I just couldn't pinpoint it, but I thought it was like a Yule Smith winter. That's what I believe. Anyways, it's, yeah, it was a fun trip. Yeah. yeah. Always good to stop mm. off and check out some places. When well, you I'm going out. for softball. I got to do something for Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and you get, get the last little bit. Uh, no, he no, had no. the long drive. No, yeah. no, you yeah. he, he can get in. <laughs> Okay. Anything, anything he wants. Thank you. He's in the beer business. He owns a, a bar. Thank you. Appreciate you know, it. I own Thanks, a brewery. Thank you. You're the guy who's the guest. You're, Thank you. You get the beer. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. That's cool. So because of you, you bid what, like 12 bucks? At this last minute, to, sorry. I know. No, no, no. I felt bad. I'm so like, I, double, no, I know I bad. saw He's that. Feeling good. Very good. Okay. So you, 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 I'm just gonna do a little math here. So 12 bucks, and yes. I said I would double it and give it to charity. Yes. But what I want to do is I want to, awesome, because you're such a cool guy, frankly, and easy guy to hang out and have a beer with, and I do it for free because <laughs> it's nice to hang out with people that are awesome. I'm gonna add uh, 500 bucks to it. And what's, wow, what's one of your favorite great. charities? How about the Kawasaki Disease Foundation, KDF? It is uh, it's a, uh, basically a disease that my daughter was stricken with about, uh, my goodness, she's about one and okay. it's heart related. And we have a local team of experts here in UCSD that uh, is really good with the disease and thank goodness she made it through it. We took it her children, she got through it quickly. But it is, yeah, Kawasaki, like the motorcycle, because yeah. I was like, what the heck? The Kawasaki disease, the KDF Foundation would be great. Dr. Jane Burns, she's out of Children's. She's awesome. And it's, it, it would be great, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. K-A-W. Call me a softie. Uh, yeah. I gotta make it $1,000, because that sounds like uh. something that would be important. <laughs> it, it is, yeah. We okay. don't, they don't know what triggers it. four dollars because Perfect. I'm going to give yeah. a donation plus... Yeah. Greg, that's awesome. That plus, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'd like to have Aces and Ales or myself get in on that as well. Okay. How about I match yours? You're kidding me. You don't no, have to do it. I'm not I'm kidding. Kidding. No, no, not at all. You don't have to do that. You're just like an innocent bystander wow. and all no, no. of this. Thanks. We are not. That is great. No worries. Dude, whatsoever. that's awesome. Yeah, Dude, that is brother. really Come cool, on. you guys. Yo, Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Aces, hey, you know, I'm representing, by the way. I know. Because I knew I was going to be seeing you. Yeah. The, the, besides the, the fact that I like one of the great, One of the greatest shirts of all time. Well, I don't know why it reminds me of something. Yes, I know. <laughs> and and, and it's, it's through the beer business that I got to make, meet Rick Nielsen years ago. Cheap trick. I, I played with him at, no. at the Craft Brewers Conference oh, in Chicago. Oh, yeah. I showed you that yeah, picture, yeah. one of my yes. favorite yes. pictures. You know, I'm standing there with Rick Nielsen, and, you know, yes. he was such an awesome dude. I'm yeah. sure you know him, and you've yeah. met him a bunch of times. Yeah. He's, he's hilarious. Crazy. Crazy cat. Yeah. We played with Cheap Trick a couple of years ago when I was playing with Night Ranger, and uh, Cheap Trick was opening up, and I was standing on the side. I remember. I, I, forgive me. I love Night Ranger, but you can't tell me that Cheap Trick was opening for Night Ranger. I this know. is not no, how my I'm world no works. I don't book the shows. And it was. I don't book the shows. Oh. But uh, you know, so they were doing great. I was, uh, you know, standing on the side watching Rick the whole time because he's, you know, doing his act and the whole yeah. nine yards. And uh, you know, after the show, we, you know, we're all kind of hanging out in the back before we started playing. And, and, and Rick goes to Jack Blades, you know, the singer bassist for Night Range. He goes, "Yeah, Carrie's over here. He's standing there. He's uh, stealing all my licks and stuff, watching all my moves. Man, this guy's great." <laughs> So it's kind of a funny thing, you know. He's a great guy. Let me get you one more beer, and we'll okay. turn off the cameras and say goodbye in Good a deal. second. But what would you like? Ruin 10, please. Ruin 10. Ruin. Yes. That sounds like an excellent idea. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, it'd be okay. good. Uh, I will have a Sublime Link. Nice. And I will figure out what I'm going to have when I'm going to go up there. I'll figure right. it out. 
As you were, as you were. As you were. So Poway. Yes. Yeah.